Hello and welcome everyone to Monday Night Twitch. I am your host, Mike the Wandering Took, and joining me as always is my friend and co-host, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hey, brother. What's going on? Oh, boy. I can't believe this is working. How many technical difficulties have we had tonight? Oh, just a handful. But we're here. Nothing Nothing we can't handle. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us. Everybody who's with us. Um, starting about 20 minutes later than usual, which just means we're going to be that much more exciting. Oh, hot damn. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so this is Ice and Death Part 3. Oof. Yeah. How did we get to this point, Mike? How did a mechanic and a salesman, a dried up salesman, get to this point? Well, they wanted to flee. North America, and then they crashed on a mountain. So their yep. first task was to find camp before dark, and we got a we got a good mm -hmm. camp. We got a great camp. And then some of our team went AWOL, and we had to go rescue them, which we did. And now our camp is under assault by these black Uzi thingies living beneath the ice because we've overstayed our welcome on this mountain. Now we could have run, we could have run. But apparently we are uh, true heroes. That's right. Yeah. I couldn't tell you that. Yeah. All right. So why don't we start with the story for Ice and Death Part 3? Okay. You want to talk about how we saved Dr. Kensler last time? <clears throat> uh, we, we saved Dr. Kensler. <laughs> <laughs> She'd gone Hi. a little kooky, apparently. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. All right. All right, Ice and Death, part three. There. See it? One of the team members hands you their binoculars and points into the distance. You venture just outside camp to find a defensible position where you hope you can see the creatures approaching. But what you find instead is even worse. Not only are they encroaching on the campsite as you expected, but more are emerging from the ice by the minute. You watch the ice shelf split open and a geyser of multicolored miasma seep from the cracks. Your companion clutches your arm and points you in another direction, where you see another geyser spill forth. Then, another. There has to be an end to them, right? You lower the binoculars and tell the rest of the team to prepare for a fight. You don't know if you can hold off these strange creatures or not, but there's only one way to find out. Hey, Mike, can you add a snowflake to the token bag, please? Yeah, done. <clears throat> for those who are counting, that's now four of them. This train is going off the rails fast. Each investigator's base starting resource is equal to the shelter, so we start off with more money. That's really nice. Yeah. And then we can choose um, one of these buddies of ours. Who would you like, Daniel? Well, you know who I think I want today? Can I just tell you? Sure. I think I might want to hang out... Oh, you moved them all around on me. Um, Rolled Ellsworth. Yeah, he's really good. I feel like if you're going to say that I have to fight all the time, the last thing I want to do is be hampered by some treachery location thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take him. Awesome. I am taking uh, Avery Claypool because yeah. <clears throat> because reasons. <clears throat> because four snowflakes. <laughs> so. Uh, Mike, I'm true. I imagine you've done our scenario setup from checkpoint, yeah. Uh, I've done the whole setup. So the Great. way anything this... we should talk about? Yes. All right, let's hear it. Yes. Okay. Uh, a bunch of the enemies have been taken out of the deck. Oh, there that's are a eight, good thing. eight enemies in the deck. They've been taken out. Oh. Because there are two players in the game, and because mm. we are camped out where we are. That okay. determines what the board status starts at. And in this case, it starts... We have these two seeping nightmares. One oh. up in the barrier camp that we can't get to because we haven't opened it. Okay. And one over at the Crystalline Cavern. Mm. Okay. There's uh, something about the sound of seeping that kind of troubles me, to be honest. Yes. Okay. So when an enemy at these, this location, any of these two locations are moving... Uh, they are considered directly connected to our camp. Oh. While there are no face-down cards beneath it, it gains Hunter. But if you can kill it, you remove the face-down cards. So all those enemies, 
Four of them are under each one of these seeping nightmares. And oh, the doom clock spawns them. So okay. we are under assault. And so those uh, face down cards are enemies. They are enemies, and, and maybe we have we should... four total enemies to deal with. For each after the seeping nightmares. But if you can knock out the seeping nightmare, the enemies go with it. But in order to get to the seeping nightmare, we've got to get to the seeping nightmare, right? Yep. Now the one in Crystalline Cavern is open. It's ready for us. Okay. Uh, the one above. And these guys. We're gonna they're not tiny, push. are they? They're not messing around. They're not. Good thing I brought my big fighty buddy along, hey? Yeah. So if we can beat the seeping nightmare, that's a good way to start, huh? Oh, that'd be nice. Let's okay. why don't we why don't right. we look at the agenda and act? Do let's. Go ahead. Agenda seven A. Something stirs beneath the ice. Through the cracks, a vile ichor bubbles forth, its odor pugnant and rancid. Forced, mm. when this agenda would advance, if there's at least one face-down card beneath a seeping nightmare, instead of advancing this agenda, remove two doom from play and find the seeping nightmare with the most face-down cards beneath it. Choose one of the cards beneath it at random and spawn it at its location. Oh, that seems pleasant. So why are there eight total monsters with two players? There's always eight Eidolon monsters. There's okay. a different number of seeping nightmares. Oh, I see. We, all right. we just have fewer seeping nightmares. All right. Yeah. Well, we're under attack, Mike. Your camp has been discovered, and now the monsters prowling about the ice and snow are converging on your position. You have only two ways out of this nightmare. You must fight, or you must flee. Each Eidolon enemy gains victory zero. The camp gains, as an action, investigators at your location spend four clues as a group resign. Okay. Yep. We advance if there are no idle and enemies in play, or if we've resigned. Correct. Now, sometimes, Mike, there's no shame in running. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we chose the not run path here. Well, apparently, we can still run. <laughs> um. All right, this is exciting. I'm ready to go when you are. Okay, let me put the sticky cards here, and uh, we are ready. I have such a good opening hand. <laughs> let's hope my uh, first turn plays nice. Okay, so let's let's talk game plan here. Okay. So we have. I was hoping you'd buy me a wrench. We have a seeping nightmare here. Okay. We need eight clues to get to the seeping nightmare above. Okay. So I'm just going to assume it's going to be my job to make sure we can open up that top spot. Is that fair? Well, I think that's totally fair. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to get to work on that seeping nightmare in the cavern as quick as I can. All right. That's awesome. Um, I can get quicker if you buy me some stuff. So I think you should go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, you're going to need to do your discard half your hand, though. Thank you. Quick thinking is bad. Uh, hang on, I'm just going to put these out. Discard ten, 10 cards for short supply. Quick thinking, my cherished keepsake, perception, that sucks. Bandages, that's good. Stray cat, oh well. Shrewd dealings, that sucks. Look what I found, that sucks. That sucks. Gravedigger shovel, that's good. Greed, awesome. Glad to see that one gone. And Shrofer's catalog, okay, so not so bad. Not so what is the bad. what's the point of this thing, this deck building thing you did? I, I still don't know why people like this one. Why I like short supply? Yeah, because it be, because if I have scavenging, this becomes an extension of my hand. I have a starting sure, hand but... of like six cards. Okay. Like or sorry, like three extra cards in here. Um, except it, when you pitch scavenging. Except when I, but even when I do. Yeah. Once I once I get it that whole, my discard pile is available to me. And it, it you can get a winging it in your discard pile, get some really clues. <clears throat> I understand, I understand. It's, if you're thinking it's not as powerful as the others, you're right. It's Survivor. Okay. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. 
Um, action one. Let's do some unscrupulous loaning. You sure love that. Uh, action two. Let's get some scavenging out. Uh, free action. Why don't... Oh, wait. Can you buy my wrench? Uh, yes, I can buy your wrench. Okay, thank you. Can you spend all $2 for it? That... Okay. Um, uh, did you need me to buy your wrench? Just curious. Yeah, I can move then. No, no, like, did you need me to actually spend the money to buy your wrench? No. I'll buy it. If you're okay buying it, that's awesome, because I have well connected in my hand. I will buy it. Okay. Then, uh, well... Did you take, did you take your $2 back? Uh, nope, because I'm spending it right away on well connected. Mm. Then that's you, yeah? That's me. Bob? <clears throat> yep? I just got one thing to do before I bust out of here. What's that? I need to take a quick cuddle of my teddy bear. <laughs> Glad you brought yours this time. <laughs> yeah, right? So that's my first action. Mine still smells of your tears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my second action will be to head to these snow drifts. <clears throat> Excuse me. And my third action, I think... I think I need to draw. All right. Because I wouldn't mind going in with a sledgehammer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a weapon would be nice. Do I have a weapon? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Hi, I Kevin. Drew a one-two punch. Oh, that's good. That's not bad. Okay. All right. Awesome. Sweet. Well, I um, guess... monsters. There are no monsters, right? Uh, none that do anything yet. Okay. Let's upkeep then, shall we? Oh, hot damn. Okay. Uh, then, let's put a doom down, and then let's go draw some bad cards. Me, you, right? Oh, you, me. A whiteout. I like that. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. And I have drawn an ice shaft. Test three... For each snowflake, take a damage. If you fail, take two damage. Okay. Well, not surprisingly, I am at minus one. And I think I'm just going to have that be what it is. I could pitch a toe-to-toe -to, -toe to make it even, but I don't think I want to do that. Mm, Are you yeah. okay with that? Oh, yeah, you can do what you want. Okay. Here's my plus one. You ready? Here we go. Okay. I'll take two damage. Uh, what's the... Uh, what do you need to resign? Four clues. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, I guess I'm ready to go in, dude. If you I don't are... think I can finish the job. There'll be some strategery that needs to happen. No worries. All right, you. Okay, you ready? Yep. One. Okay. That guy just shows up with me, right? He is now. Yep, yeah, he's now on you. Yeah. So, but he's. What if I just took him with me? The, oh, those come too. <laughs> <laughs> the game. The game thought of that. You're saying. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, they'll they'll come too. I mean, you'll be. You're at a spot where all the skulls are minus four, by the way. Oh, well, that's handy. Just so you know. Okay, so I'm going to first exhaust my mechanics wrench to let him hit me. Okay. Okay. He hits you for two and two. Two and two. He hits me for one. He hits Ellsworth for one. He hits my teddy bear for one. And me for one. Okay? Okay. I will choose to damage him for one. Okay. Okay. How do you feel about that? 
Oh, I'm I'm fine. I'm safe in camp. Okay. Next. I'm trying to map this out. I think maybe the next best thing is a one-two punch. Why did you have him attack you? Was that I did or didn't I? Why did you? Was that for the one damage? For the one damage, yeah. I think, yep. <clears throat> so then I'm thinking, do I... I've got to hit him for five somehow in three hits. and In two turns, I mean. So I think the best way to do that, actually, is to one-two punch and hope to win. And then mechanics wrench. And then mechanics wrench. Or toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Actually, I'd probably do a toe-to-toe -to -toe where it automatically succeeds. Oof. And he hits you again. Yeah. Now, a basic fight action just means me fighting, right? That's Cause right. Because that's another thing. I can just try brute force and hope it works. You're a five brute force. Four, six, it'd be up three. Seven, eight. If it's successful by two or more, you're up yeah, five. So I'm at eight, right? Yeah. Eight to three, so plus five, right? Yep. The thing is, is if I don't make it, that's an issue. So what I'm going to do is brute force it, okay? Okay. And I'm going to get rid of one one-two punch. And the bandolier, which puts me up seven. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, minus one. Uh, and a minus two, so you're a total of minus three. So I make it. And you hit him for three. I hit him for three. Okay. Now, I'm going to play... Do I take the chance, Mike? That's the... Because toe-to-toe -to -toe just does it, and we're done. That it does. its wrench. I'm up comfortably. But, like, I could draw the the baddie. Oh, yeah. There's, there's four snowflakes in that bag now. So... All right. So what I'm going to do for my last action is play toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Okay? Okay. He's yeah. going to hit Ellsworth for one, me for one, my brain for one, and I'm going to lose my keepsake. My teddy bear is gone. All right. <clears throat> but it is gone. Okay. Uh, if I have this right, every... When he's defeated, remove each face down card beneath it from the game. Okay. So these are gone. Put them over here. And he gains... Victory zero. So he's here. We'll put him here. So I think that was a good way to start. Now I need to somehow heal. Uh, yeah. Um, so I'm sitting in this place, bleeding out, but feeling good. I don't suppose you have five fleetness. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, maybe I can. Uh, you, you feel Daniela glaring at you from across the ice. Well, so move. what do you think? Was that okay? Was that a, better, a good way to do it? I mean, we got rid of one. That's nice. That's I'm happy. So that's one did not evolve, right? So yeah. Now okay. we are the way this quest works. It's a bit of a timer. Like we've effectively sure. halved our doom clock, right? But we've also halved the number of things that can fight us. So I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good. Now are the rocky crags something we can't go to? They are right. We need clues. Okay. We haven't been there. Yeah. But we've been to the icy wastes. Yeah. Okay. So the key, the catch is, is that we're going to have to be at the same location when you enter that place. Or when I enter. I mean, I guess I could enter. If I'm at full health, I might as well enter. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to slurp up clues and see if there's any way we can get more supplies. The one down here is out of our way. But is it easy to get? I just have to get four clues off the location. The yeah. one up here, the Crystalline Cavern, I could potentially get if I had lots of fleetness, which I'm not really ramped up for that yet, but I, I could. I think I'm going to make right. slowly make my way to the Snow Graves, because we're going to need eight clues to get into that barrier camp. 
And I think if I focus on the snow graves and the broad snow drifts, we'll be all right. Uh, all right, man. So I'm going to move down one. Uh, I'm going to move two. I'm going okay. to well connected. So I'm investigating for a seven on a three. Uh, okay. Why a clay pool? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So I passed. So that's. Uh, well, let me get the clickers. There we go. I will grab a clue off there for you. Already done it. Or you already already, did it. already okay. did it. Uh, I get to scavenge, so I will take my catalog. My catalog. I will then spend two dollars for said catalog. Nice. That's my item action. Yeah, we're good. Is that you done? That's me done. Okay, monsters, no monsters. Upkeep. Prompty berries, nice to have. Are there monsters in the thing? In the deck? I don't remember. Okay, because on yeah. the hunt oh. might, might be useless. Why don't I just look? I'll shuffle. Can you do that? It is useless. Okay. All right. That is two doom. Okay, so you remove two doom. Okay. And we have spawned a manifestation of madness here. Oh, that's bad. When he attacks you, shuffle the top two cards of the Tequila Glee deck into your deck without looking at them. And when he hunts, he hunts to the camp first, correct? Uh, when he hunts, the camp is considered connected. Okay. So in your case, no, he's two locations away from you. He'll go to the Rocky Crags and then down. <laughs> so he doesn't have to wait for me to explore the Rocky Crags? <clears throat> correct. Okay. All right, bad cards, starting with you, my brother. Uh oh. Kindred Mist. Uh, when one or more cards from the Tekeli Lee deck would be shuffled into your deck while you are at, at attached location, draw them instead, placing them on the bottom of your deck instead of the bottom of the Tekeli Lee deck. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's a good time for that to happen. Okay. I have drawn me some Ancient Evils, of course. Yep, so guess what's going to happen next turn. Yep. Understood. All right. Um, I did not draw any way to heal myself. Um, cool. But I see no reason to stay in the Rocky Crags, to be honest. All right. Uh, yeah, where everything now, is like... Now, I could four. conceivably almost accidentally get these clues off the broad snowdrifts. You are not adding another soul flake to that bag. <laughs> How many autofails do you want in that bag? <laughs> They're only autofails if you draw two of them, Sunshine. Uh... See, okay, the reason why I'm scared is because Bob doesn't succeed by enough. You're scared, Mike, because you're always scared. There's something about the cosmic horrors in the universe that seems to just drive you a little batty. Can't understand that. I can't believe you're well, not scared. <laughs> regardless, I need to You're more there. insane than the rest of us. Yeah, you do. Um, I mean, it's not a bad place to camp, but maybe, like, draw some healing or something. Yeah, I'm going to go there because, like... The skulls aren't so bad there, right? So I'm going to go there. I have bandages, Action. but bandages aren't really going to work because it's reactive. It would help for my well, ally, I, but not for you. I could use reactive. Oh, I could play and... them on you. Yes, I could play them on you. Yeah. Doi. Okay. Uh, my second <laughs> act will be to draw. And I've drawn Vicious Blow. Great, great. And just for fun, Mike... <laughs> just for fun i'm gonna investigate here sure sure i am even with it are you ready i'm ready oh that's the one thing i didn't want all right so i fail by one so i'll discard this card you failed by one right i mean it's only Oh, yeah, yeah. You feel that way. We don't go into the negatives, right? Correct. So. Correct. All right. I lost a jury rig for my monkey, for my wrench. That's too bad. Okay. That's me. Okay. I'm going to discard a thing off Shorfer's catalog for some key rings. 
We're nice. going to investigate with the key rings. Woo! Ooh. Kai, that didn't work. We're going to investigate with the key rings. There we go. That worked. What does that get me back? We're going to grab the bandages with that. So I've done... I have one more action. Uh, do you mind getting the clue? Yep, got it. Uh, I'm going to well connect at this one. Uh, that's rounded... Minus three. Minus three. I was a six minus three. I am even. Oh, it's not minus three. It's X is half the shelter value of your location. Yeah, so it's minus three. Isn't the shelter value three? Five. It's five. Where are you? Snow graves. Shelter five. Oh, God. I was looking at the... Yeah, thank you. Oops. Okay. Did you find it? Yep. Awesome. All good. All right. So how many total you got now? Three? Yep. I'm going to get the last one. I'll get that uh, to Kelly Lee. I'll have to do that. That's okay. Okay. So monsters. All right. So at this point, it is going to go to camp. Yep. That's fine. Oh, this disappears, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, upkeep. Winging it. Okay. Um. I'm ready when you are. Because we have another monster to spawn, son. Another one of those. Uh, easy peasy. Okie dokie. Right. Your draw. <whistles> Oof. Will three, hey? Last chance would only get me a one pip. That's not worth it. Well, I only... I take two more. worth it. Would have been worth it. Yeah, oddly enough, it would have been worth it. <laughs> My card is a Polar Mirage. Uh, I guess it goes to me. Goes to you. Well, I guess we're not discovering clues there. That's too bad. That was your dream. Although I can ignore it. Oh, yeah. Hey, can I ignore that when you're there? Like... Uh, yeah, it's you have to choose a specific investigator's turn. Yeah, so like, yeah. if you were to find the last in Snowgraves, move up to me. Mm -hmm. We yes. could ignore that, right? Yes, you could. So why don't you go first? I'm going to bludgeon the thing to death. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do I want to take this? I'm a plus. I'm a seven on a three. I'll just uh, well connect at this one. Okay. Nice. Grab that clue. I only succeed by one. I will shuffle the top three cards of the Tiki deck in. And we now have the green soapstone. I'm excited to have that. Okay, good. Feel free to come up and give me some band-aids. Action two. Action three. You get band-aids. Thank you, brother. And as my last act, what do I have? I do have my keepsake in there. Okay, so we are going to use the key ring because I really want to scavenge. Uh, if you don't mind using the polar mirage or getting rid of polar mirage. Done. Thank you. I'm going to use Avery. And get rid of that token. Whew! Well, I uh, I still pass. You're not scavenging, though. I'm not scavenging, though. That's unfortunate. Now, do you want to put a snowflake in and grab the rest? No. <laughs> There's a polar mirage there, son. 
I'm aware. I'm not going to be there forever. Uh, choose a treachery attached to any location. Ellsworth oh. is really good. He's really good. Yeah. Holy cannoli. All right. Um, I pat you on the shoulder. And I move over here. Back to our camp. A manifestation of madness comes hangs out with me. Mm-hmm. Now, is this guy Victory Zero, too? He is, right? If he's an idol on, he is. Okay, he is. So, Mike. Mechanics wrench. He attacks me. I spend a dollar. I dodge it. Nice. Um, I do a damage to him. Yes, you do. I hit him with a wrench. Okay. I'm up seven to four. Seven to three. You got two chances. Yep. Here we go. He's dead. He's dead. He's out of the game. Now, here's a funny thing. Do I just leave? Because this guy's going to be on you next turn. He's going to hit me. I've got Band-Aids. He doesn't hit very hard, right? One and one. My, my issue is psychosis. Yeah, I would have given you a teddy bear had I actually scavenged that turn. That was my plan. No, that's all right. I'm just wondering if I should come back to you. I, I feel like I get the better hand when... I mean, either way, I'm going to have to let it hit me and then so I can collaborate with the wretch. So do I want it? Why don't I draw a card then and see what happens? Right. Right? Yeah, okay. Because it's the round, right? Mechanics wrench? It's like... Yeah, it's the whole round. Since the end of your last turn. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to draw a card then. Oh, it's mob goons. Okay. I didn't necessarily need that. Are you okay or do you need help? Well... They're about to hit me, and then I'm about to get hit by the other guy. Right? So that's the end of my turn. Right? Yeah. Monster phase. Those monsters hit you. So that's one and one, so I'll spend a Band-Aid. Yeah. I'm about to lose my mind, yo. Yep, here's a Manifestation of Madness. I'll spend another Band-Aid. Okay. And he attacked you. Oh, did. did you do that forest effect last time? Uh, two cards in your deck without... No. So I'm owed four of those, right? Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm really beat up. I know. I just put one Doom on the agenda. Okay. Through the ice. That's me. I'm okay with this. Okay. I drew Kindred Mist. Oh. So where does that go? Your location. With you, right? Okay. With you. Wow, you should have come to my location. Okay. So I've got fighting to do. Now, I have a plus one damage on both these guys, right? No. So, that was last turn. No. Well, how, am I reading mechanics wrench wrong? Since the... Oh, since the end of your last turn! Oh my goodness! Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you totally do have plus one. Okay. So I think what I'm going to... Do you mind if I go first? No, oh, yeah, go nuts. Or do you have a way of like helping me? I mean, I I don't. I'm I'm literally like blowing my whole. Oh wait, why did I? Well, did I upkeep? No, I didn't. There. Okay. Did you upkeep? Yeah, I ended up getting the mob goons. No, that was when you drew your card. No, I didn't upkeep. A sledgehammer. Okay. So okay. I what I would do basically is I would walk in there use my well-connected and my resourceful to be up anything and maybe hit somebody for one. 
Um, so maybe... That would be helpful if you hit someone for one, actually. Okay. Not going to lie, that'd be helpful. Then Schroffer's catalog is disappearing to put out the Eon charts. I will spend an Eon chart to move. So I now have three oh, actions. Bob, hey. Hi. So things got real. I see that. <laughs> Believe me, I see that. Okay. What, uh, what do you want me to hit? Anything? I'll just hit something. Just hit my goons. Six. It's all the same, I think. I am up by four. Okay. I am canceling uh, that snowflake. Can't you cancel the one that's an auto fail? Like, could you cancel the second one or not? I can. But okay. I didn't want to hit you. No, I understand. I was just wondering. I just wanted to make sure I knew how it worked. So you hit you hit the goons? I hit whoever you wanted me to hit. And I get to pull a level one card back to my hand. That's going to be a cherished keepsake. Oh. Well, I hope so... I stay alive long enough for you to hand that to me. <gasps> I'm not allowed to play things under your control. I don't have shrewd because I don't have shrewd dealings out. Oh, it's too late to wreck on the bandages. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's right. I have to. Right. Reveal cherish keepsake. Yeah. Okay. I will uh, wing it. Yeah. Minus three. Can you deal with it? I'm a four to a two. Uh, so no, I can't deal with it. I lose. I discard the top card of my deck. Did you get the minus one investigation? Uh, that puts this down to a minus shroud. Minus one shroud? Two. Yeah, okay. that puts it down to a two. All right. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Am well, I? first Am things I? first. One, two. No, I'm not done. I'm putting out a cherished keepsake. For yourself? Well, I can't give it to you. I don't have uh, true dealings. True dealings is actually in my discard pile. I know. Can't you get it back? If I cycle my deck. Or, or if I can't scavenge it back? Scavenge only... only items, right? Well, yeah. If I get scrounge for supplies, I think it's technically... It's a level... Zero card, right? Yeah. So yep. If I if I can get scrunch for supplies, I can pull it back. <clears throat> okay. Well, all right. Things have got to work out for me. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. So first, I'm going to vicious blow the madness with my wrench. Okay. Okay. So that's plus three to my attack. Okay, that's easy peasy. So that's minus four. Yeah, that's thank goodness. Okay, I was at eight to okay. three. Now it's not the mob goons; it's the madness. Oh, it's right. gone because I hit it for three. Then I'm gonna club my goons with my wrench. Oops. There I am up five seven. So I'm up four. Minus two. Okay. Minus two. He's gone. The goons are gone. Mike, I've been killing a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Good. We still got more. <laughs> I know. When does it end? Um, I think I might just go to the icy waste. Okay. I'm going to, for my last action, Mike, I'm going to draw a card. Okay. A bandolier, so I can wear, wear, wear my sledgehammer. Nice. It's like it was meant to be. I wouldn't mind you spending some money on a couple of those things coming up next. All right, monster phase. There are no monsters, correct? 
Correct. Upkeep. There we go. Wait, I have another weakness? Mike, can you please add five curse tokens to the bag? I know how much you like doing that. <sighs> <laughs> um, Mike, let's spawn a monster. All right. This one is skittering nonsense. Ooh. I'm not so scared of those, to be honest. All right. Bad cards. Through the ice. Oh, I was supposed to do my test at the other one. I'll just get rid of last chance and say I did it. Okay. I have drawn Dark Aurora. Test brains three. I'm at plus one. And that's what I'm going to be, unless you have a card to throw at me, but I don't think you do, right? <laughs> does Bob Jenkins have willpower? No. No, he does Okay, plus one. I've lost. Take two horror. I am out. No. Roald Ellsworth takes one, and I take one. Oh. Oh. We're that close. You see the problem. Do you want to just resign? Um, like legit, we can just reside. Um, because as soon as I spend the clues opening that up, we're not resigning anymore. I just have to kill three more things, right, and survive treacheries. Yes, and one of them's a seeping nightmare. <sighs> How about we um, How about we see what I draw? So we do your turn first? Yeah. And if I draw nothing to help me, then I think maybe that's the best way forward. Sounds good. You, f you feel okay with that? Uh, yeah, if, I mean, if my fighter dies, I'm dead. So... If your water dies? If my fighter dies. Who's your fighter? <laughs> Me? Dude, I don't die. I just take a, you know, a little crazy to begin things. Basically, right. if you're out of this game, I have to scrounge up the clues and escape. Well, you already have the clues, don't you? Yeah, we just have to make that call before I spend them. Mm. Understood. Let me draw. Card one. Take a leaky. Lose two resources. Okay. Next card. Uh, one sec. Kindred's Mist is, should be gone. Yeah. Okay. Next card on the hunt. That's not useful. So I'll draw one more time, and if it's an item that you can help me with, okay. then maybe. Otherwise, I say we get out of here. All right. And the last card is Jury Rig. I see, I see. I, I feel terrible about this, man. I don't mind going psycho. It's... You You always take a hit with these with anything you fight, and these all deal horror. Yeah, but that skittering nonsense can engage you. Yeah, but how are you going to get that seeping nightmare? Because half your damage comes from things attacking you. Understood, but maybe by then I'll have... I'll have figured it out. Because if, if, if all we've got left is a skittering nonsense and another one, yeah, then then I can deal with that. I don't remember what, what? the last agenda is, by the way. I have no idea. What? Oh, that thing gains Hunter when it's... What? When there's nothing under it. Yeah. Yeah. I. You know what? Okay. I'm a hero, Mike. I'm not leaving. So let's let's just stay here. We're staying here. Let's just, let's you just... get clues at our camp. You can get clues at the camp, right? I can I can I can try. <laughs> so why don't we? What does uh... through the ice do? Oh, just, leaving. Okay. We just don't move. So we won't move. Okay. We won't move. All right, dude. If I can draw a dodge, like that's huge. Like one dodge and a vicious blow, and I might be able to do it. Did we draw? Our... 
encounter crits? Yeah. I went first. It's your turn. Now, if you want to pay right, for yeah. my bandolier, yeah. that'd be cool. Pay for it or use my action? Use your action. Fine. Use your action, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I will happily use my action to pay for anything. Okay. Yeah. Because then I can grab a sledgehammer. Yep. Next turn. Or you can grab me a sledgehammer next turn. I'm going to use the Aeon chart to investigate. No, I won't. I'm just going to well connect it. So I'm a 7 on a 3. Plus 1. Guess what? I can scavenge. Now, Mike, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. If that thing turns into a hunter and we kill it, we're done, right? Uh, we get to advance. Is this the only act? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's only a treachery that's going to burn us, dude. So. So that's one clue off location. I'm going to winging it. Okay. I'll draw again. Oof. That's bad. Uh, that's a minus five, so I just failed. And okay. winging it is now in my disc, uh, shuffled in my deck. Okay. And I have one action left, I believe. We get your key ring back down. Yeah. I'm I, I'm hovering at 15 resources. I don't like that. I need Why? my because uh, that's the difference between a plus two and a plus three from well connected. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. All right. But yeah. That's Are we done? Uh, I'm done. Okay. Monster phase. The nonsense comes. Do you mind if he hits you? Yeah yeah he can hit me. Or your teddy bear. Yeah he can totally hit me and my teddy bear. Okay. All right. Uh, upkeep. Another techie leaky. If it is your turn, lose an action. Otherwise, lose an action during your next turn. That sort of sucks. And then it goes to the bottom. I uh, just put on the one to the left. Okay. There we go. Why does this game hate me? All right, one doom. Uh, all right, my card is Antarctic Wind. We cannot play cards or draw cards. This really? Round. Yep, for this whole round. So so much for a sledgehammer. Yep. All right. Uh, I have, I've drawn Polar Vortex. Each card you control with health takes one direct damage. All right, that won't kill Ellsworth. We also have a bandage. Of course. Left. Of course, I can also just say it's not there. Uh that's at the end of your when you end your turn. Okay, yeah. So one person could say it's not there. We could also axe Antarctic Wind. Um and then you could put out can, your sledgehammer. Right. We can that treachery's text box is blank until the end of this turn. Okay. Yeah, so that's the investigator's turn. So one of us one of us deals with it. Probably you, which is okay. Or I just um, move and not deal with it. Oh, no. Then well, we've got that through the ice, right? Yeah, you're right. Like, that might be the thing that I let go. Yeah. Like, so I can leave. And, like, maybe we meet Wait, like, why are we back leaving? in... Why are we leaving? Well, I guess we're not leaving. All right. So, first off, we have to deal with the monster on you, right? Uh, correct. So why don't I hit it with a hammer? Or a wrench? Works for me. Okay. You sure? Alright, hold on. I gotta get Polar Vortex up to where we are. And what does that mean again? Each card you control. Okay. I mean, Ellsworth is hurting. Well, you have bandages for him. That's true. Or for you. No, it should be for him. 
All right, are you ready? Yep. Mike, I'm hitting the guy in front of you with a wrench. Cool. I am up only, though, three. Uh, You're hitting him for one damage? No, I think I... He didn't attack you. He attacked me. Oh, that is true, isn't it? Do you want me to go first? Do you... Can you... Can you do something? I was hoping to evade him, but that's a four. Holy crow. Um... No, uh, let me take him out. I let can't, me take him out. I have an impromptu barrier. Uh, I cannot help you with fist. Well, why don't I just drop a sledgehammer? Yeah, you can totally do that. Okay. Now, you cannot help me with that, right? Not one bit. All right, so I don't need a ton of actions this turn. Would you agree? You only have two. Oh, God damn it. I was going to jury rig it after putting it down. Okay. So I can't toe to toe him because it would kill me. Or it would kill Ellsworth. All right. So, one, two, three. I'm going to put a sledgehammer down. And I'm going to swing. Minus one. So I'm at four. What is he at? Two? Yeah. And I'll be up three. Why don't you just use your wrench at that point? Because I can't kill it then. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so I'm up three. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I wasn't, I was not attacked, but still, that that was helpful. All right, that's me done. All right. Cool. Very, very cool. Okay, that what's helped. in my discard pile? <laughs> Definitely beat the yeah, beat the odds on that draw. <laughs> and maybe I should have pulled up my stray cat last time. Well, something's coming. Is the cat an item? No. <laughs> oh. It's like, oh, that's funny. I like that. I like that. Uh, you, like, you like what? The fact that you know the cat's an item. That's really good. Is it really an item? No. <laughs> Oh, he's you can't pull it back. He's an ally and a creature. Oh. I mean, some people think of their pets as items. A little bit. What if you're one of those people that like has a little dog and you carry it in a purse? Oh, that's totally an item. That's an item then, right? Totally. It's like a, it's a decoration. It's like wearing a bracelet or something. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Hey, you haven't checked on the chat in a while. And by a while, I mean ever. Yeah, I have. Are there people there telling us things? Kevin's loving there. Loving us? Kevin like my Loving us and, and giving us support? <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spit. I'm going to take uh, three actions and just get $3. I'm going to spend the Eon chart to investigate, and I'm going to well connect it. Wait, what did you just say? For my turn, I took $3, and then I used the Eon chart to get a free Investigate, and I well-connected that Investigate. So that's a minus two. I pass. Not only do I pass, but I succeed. Scavenge. So I scavenge. Okay. And we're going to get back the catalog. Nice. Which I don't know if I even want to spend right now. Why wouldn't you? You have a free action to do it, right? Because of the money? Why don't I just get a Gravedigger Shovel instead? Then I, at least I have a pip I can throw to you. Okay. And a clue you can get. Oh, we don't even need clues anymore. Oh, you got the eight? Okay. Eight for what? We're not well, going there We don't anymore. even need clues. Yeah. Now, it is, nice to, it is nice to have just the outlet if things go really south. You know? like. I mean, the outlet is I spend four clues right now and we disappear. I don't want that. That's the out. Yeah, as I'm just making sure that right. if I draw tiki cards that say drop clues, I still have enough to get right. us out here. Okay, but you understand I'm a hero, right? I'm never leaving. <laughs> okay, so a wise a man here. once said, um, "Monster phase." Oh, you no monsters. Hang on, right? Investors at test location cannot play cards or draw cards from their deck. Oh, I will have done the guy. I'll get rid of a supply from elsewhere. 
what did I do? I got three things. So I or draw cards from their deck. I didn't draw from my deck. Yeah, so I didn't need so it. So you you didn't need it either. So I took Okay, so that's what happened there. Okay. Monster phase, no monsters. Upkeep. A bangle of Jenkses. Place one of your clues on your location. <laughs> it's like you called it. There's Look, I got my, three my of those. I got my jingle jangle. <laughs> a little late for that. It's a little late for jingle jangles, but it's nice to have it around. You know what's nice about it is I can finally use I was gonna say I could probably use my relic hunter, but my teddy bear is gone. Alright. Now, Mike, a number of things leave at the end of this round. Not through the ice, but Arctic wind, yes. Yep, and polar and vortex. The vortex. So oh. Okay. If you used Avery on that, you didn't use Avery for your vortex, which means everyone's taking a direct damage right now. Uh, which I bandaged for him. Okay. Which I remember that being the thing. Take your band-aids back. All right, done. Okay, so I think we played everything fair. Yeah. Uh, we have a monster to wake up. Our last one. Skittering nonsense. Okay. Okay. How many different Eidolon monsters are there? Do you know? Like, could we have gotten other things, or is it just four and four of these? We will never know. They, they're gone forever. We'll like, never know, let's... Mike. Let's find out. I don't care. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Uh, glacial phantasms, okay, more so skittering nonsenses, and uh, another manifestation. Okay, so there's okay. only three types. Okay, so then we've got a bad card to deal with. Ooh. Oh, lovely. Uh, this moves and attacks as if it were the enemy face. Okay, so things have gotten. Sudden. You lost a teddy bear, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. I've been there, man. I've been there. There we go. That's because it had no, nothing beneath it. Uh, okay, that's fine. Draw your card. Ice shaft. All right, I can take damage. Can you? Okay, good. Yeah. All right, so we'll... Uh, Fleet three, I am down one. You ready? Yep. Okay, I'll take a tinky leaky and shuffle it in. Uh, then I also lost. What do I do? Take two? Take two. Okay. All right. So, we have to kill You suddenly team. have a big fella on you. Yeah, totally. Now, do you want me to do a vape? I can. Do you want to do that? Or do you want to wait until I sledgehammer him? There's something really nice about sledgehammering him before you evade him. What's nice about that? <laughs> well, can I sledgehammer him when he's evaded? Yes. Oh, okay. Why couldn't I always you? get confused on that rule. Like, if you're taking a melee weapon against some. Like, as long as it's not aloof, you're okay. Okay. If you want to go go ahead and put that to sleep, I understand. All right. We're going to play Impromptu Barrier. And I'm going to pitch this. So I am a 5 to a 2. Well, hold on. Why don't you be a 4? Okay. To a 2. Uh, you mean as a 6. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, he's invaded. You're welcome. He's evaded a draw card. <laughs> You're welcome. Lose two resources. Okay. Wait, why did you get that card? Because I played manual decks, and I won. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's exhausted, Oops. which means I still have two actions left, right? Yeah. Unless impromptu barrier is an item. Nope. Why? Why? I don't know, oh, but if you could just... You know what would be great? If you just hit this thing with a shovel over and over. Yep, so free action, shovel. Okay. Uh, I will now exhaust well-connected. Wait, that's uh, 
I've had one thing. I have two actions left. I'm only a five. I'm a seven now. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So you've hit him for one, right? I've hit him for one. Okay. Is that him right here? No, he's right here on the on your end. Oh, he's right there. Oh, okay. And uh, I can I can hit him again. I can try. Please, please try. Hold I'm, on. What are you What are you at? I'm even. No, wait. I'm I'm plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Okay. Hold on a sec. Save it for your hits, man. I don't really need the one pip from on the hunt, so take it. Okay, I'm up by a three. Yep, autofill. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now I have no way of hitting him for the required amount. No, that's not true. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Okay, he's just lying there, right? He's just lying there. All right. I'm going to first jury rig my sledgehammer. Okay. Okay. No, I can't do that. Never mind. Taking it all back. If I'm going to do it in one turn, I've got to be lucky. Right? Okay. Wait, is this the turn I only have two actions? No, that was last turn. That was last turn, right? Okay. So, if I club him with a sledgehammer for two actions, right? Yeah. Why don't you do that although he's Although he's exhausted, right? Yeah. But that treachery makes him attack you. What treachery? There's a treachery where he the same one oh, I yeah, pulled yeah. last turn, right? So you can't. Okay. So we're hoping for out. we're hoping for luck. Yeah. Okay. So I'm at plus two. I'm going to do the two action sledgehammer. That puts me at seven. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So he's hit for three. That's it. Okay. Now. I need to hit him with a one hand and sledgehammer backhand. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> you're up by one. I, I'm only up by one. Oh, okay. And we're at a pretty tough campsite, aren't we? Oh yeah, we're at, we're at a plus four. Or a well, you know what? For the skull. You know what, Mike? What? This is what heroes do. All right. I'm at plus two. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it owed you, man. That's what heroes do. I'm going to say the game really, really owed you on that. It didn't. It didn't. I'm fine. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you do. Okay. So if now, there's no idol. Oh, hang on. If there's no idol on an enemies. So there is. So. There's a skittering nonsense still, and he's about to come and join you. Sadly. Or else I'm out of the game. Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll join me. Can okay. you you can do that? Alright, so it is the monster's turn. Okay. Uh this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Well, put one at least on Claypool, dude. Don't don't take it. Just in case. Well, all the things that are going to damage me in this deck damage no, me. No, you hit me for two. But... Really? Yeah, everything is like if you fail, take two damage. Okay. So we're just hoping. All right, so we have upkeep, right? Yep. The devil. Another Tekaliki. Discard a card at random from my hand. There's only one. It's the Bangla Jables. All right. Oh, thank you, Mike. All right. We now have one Doom. So if there's nothing there, what do you do? You advance. But it would advance. All right. Oh, there's two agendas. Okay. So yep. we, maybe we don't want that to happen. All right. We, yeah, we don't. <laughs> I don't think we do. All right. <laughs> okay. What do you got? Oh, uh, we advance. We advance. Is it cool? Hmm. 
This place is not what it seems. You feel as though you have trespassed somewhere ancient and terrible, and now its wrath is erupting all around you. The lead investigator must decide. Add a frost token to the chaos bag, or in player order, each investigator shuffles the top two cards of the Tekeli Lee deck into their deck. Um, I will do the second option. I, I totally agree with that. <laughs> Grab two cards. All right, Icy Depths, Agenda 8. The violent quakes have risen to a crescendo. Any second now, you feel as though the entire ice shelf could collapse, spilling you into the frigid ocean. Or worse, if your theory about the underground source of these creatures is correct. All right. All right. Six. Hey, All Jesse. Right. All right. So we have to survive my card right now. Right? Oh, you're right. I, I put something out incorrectly with Bob. What's that? It's not, uh, Jesse, what would I, should I have taken a, an attack? Was that the issue? No, he's, you he's... didn't put out the shovel until the guy was exhausted. Okay. I think you played it fair. All right. Anyway, my card is Epiraphobia. Test. Okay, X. Oh, jeez. I have nothing okay. to pitch. No, and we'll, you know, I'm going to fail. All right. So here we go. Okay. And if I fail... Take the top card. There you go. No worries there. All right, uh, Mike. Yep. I have no clues. No, I if I took know. a horror, it's over. Unless I killed Ellsworth. You want me to just kill Ellsworth? I don't think that's a good idea. How many horror did you take? Just one? Yep. Oh. I'm going to let you decide. Okay. Mike, why don't you go ahead and put a snowflake in the bag? Is that for this game or the campaign? The campaign, dude. <laughs> are you sure? Snowflakes are permanent. Anything you add to the chaos bag is permanent. Okay. Now, Mike. All we have to do is club a skittering nonsense to death and we're out of here. Yes. I'm guessing you want you to not have it. Yes. I'm also going to say I do I can try to hit him. Why don't I hit him well, first? I mean... I can. Is there anything about drawing bad tokens that would suck for you? I'd be hitting him eight on two. Oh, well, take a swing. Uh, okay, that's a seven on two. There we go. Okay. I've hit him for one. Uh, I mean, you could end the game. Well, let's find out. Five on a two. Done. Done. Bob, <laughs> in a panic, beats him to death with a shovel. <laughs> Die! The oh my last God, it. of the nightmarish creatures falls. Its miasmatic body at once dissolving into inky prismatic liquid and dissipating into wisps of gray mist filled with screaming shapes. And then... Silence. Silence. R one. Mike. Mike. Whew. Aren't you glad that aren't you glad that I'm me? <laughs> to a point. Like <laughs> Like, no, we're not leaving. Yes, I'm near psychosis and death, but we're not leaving. This is the Lord of the Rings campaign all over again. Yeah, this is what heroes do, Mike. <laughs> if you haven't learned by now. Yeah, no, no, we, we are having a grand old time until that last scenario. We are, so, oh boy. <laughs> okay, resolution one, you ready? Uh, yep. Yeah. In cruel, bitter silence, you and your remaining companions trudge onward. The sun drifts to the horizon, but never sets. You see no sign of danger for hours, and yet you dare not tarry. Dread compels you on. Only when you are too tired to walk any longer do you finally stop to get your bearings and decide how to proceed. After all, is this even a research expedition any longer? Mike, in our campaign log, can you please record the team defeated the hunting creatures? Done. Okay. Each investigator earns XP equal to the victory X value of each card in the display. Uh, I don't think there is any victory. Great. 
Um, each investigator earns five bonus experience as they have gained insight into the entities that dwell in Antarctica. Hot damn. There you go. So now we have a total of six folks at home. Um, in the expedition team section of the campaign log, we got some people who got hurt here. Yeah, a little bit. Mike, go ahead and clean up the game. We will not return to this scenario for the remainder of the campaign. Instead, we'll proceed to interlude one restful night. All right, let's... Uh... Why don't I, I... Think, I say we do that. It's kind of early. Oh, right? yeah. We're going to do Restful Night. And I know a little bit about this campaign, so I'm going to... Here's what's going to happen. Well, actually, I'll... Mm. why don't I read this first, and then um, you'll, you'll understand where I'm going. Okay. Restful Night 1. Safe at last, you and the remaining members of the expedition take stock of your situation. You've lost several members of the team, but your numbers remain strong. Part of you knows that staying any longer would prove foolish or deadly. But a great many questions crowd your thoughts, demanding answers despite your worries. What if we were true heroes? What if Bob did pull out that shovel last minute? What if we did survive? What were those uncanny phantasmal creatures? What happened here after Dyer's expedition left the icy waste behind? You and the others discuss the situation at length and consider various plans. Some believe in the total abandonment of the expedition, but to return empty-handed now would prove disastrous for the university, frustrate the scientific community, and possibly cost the remaining crew their careers. After all, very few believe Dyer's outlandish claims. Who would believe this? In the end, you decide to press onward. Another flight is out of the question, of course. That thing in the sky must still be out there. It was a miracle you survived one airplane crash, let alone two. No, there's only one way to reach the site described in Dyer's report now. You must travel on foot. The decision made, you retire to get what meager rest you can before the grueling trek ahead. So there's only so much time left in the night. Uh, regardless of whether team members are crossed out or not, i.e. whether or not they're alive or dead, uh, one okay. at a time we get to read three sections. If, uh, if the game effect of the section cannot be performed, it doesn't count. We get to choose again. So Daniel, yeah, I'm going to let you choose one, and then I will choose one, and then you will choose one. How about that? I like it. All right. So we have entries for every single person in the investigation. Sure, sure. I see ones. that. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the guide. And I actually, have a physical copy in my hand here. Perfect. So if you, I, I went through this blind the first time, and I just, I just picked. So I'll, I'm going through. It. I'm going through it blind. All right. Then uh, decide um, who you want to chat with. I am going to. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to check on Danforth. All right. So I'll read that, if Danforth is crossed out. Yeah. You decide to seek wisdom in Danforth's belongings, hoping he kept a journal or some evidence from his prior expedition with Dyer. What you find instead is a treasure trove of fiction, both macabre and speculative, including a well-worn copy of the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Its pages are punctuated by many makeshift tabs, and its margins inscribed with many notes and jottings, some relevant, others whose true meaning eludes you. You're not sure why Danforth thought there was any reason to bring such a collection of ta tales, most especially one so beloved to him. You open it to one of the tabbed pages and read. You could not be prevailed upon to touch it or go near it, shuddering when we attempted to force him and shrieking out, tickle me In the margins, Danforth had scribbled, what could force one out of such paroxysms? How can I leave this dreadful feeling behind? Any one investigator may add the collected works of Poe asset to their deck. Wow. Mike, it says we can find that in the uh, Memorials of the Lost in Council. Yeah. On it here. Okay. Uh, there it is. Collected works of Poe. I will put it in your play area. Now you understand why Poe, right? He has that that story like Gordon Pym. I don't know it. About about like yeah this uh, this guy who goes on an expedition to Antarctica and finds all this crazy stuff and like it's great. I gotta it's, read that. It's it's. It's great in the way that some 18th century or 19th century stuff is, where it's also awful and racist. Oh, okay. Um, but like, it's Lovecraftian and like way pre-Lovecraft, and it's you definitely get like where Mountains of Madness came from. Um, and there is a beautiful novel called Pym out there, written um, from like the point of view of the fictional character of Pose was really real. Oh, it's so good. Gotcha. Anyway, yeah. So, listeners, two books. Two books to add on your list. 
So what is this book, Mike? Okay. Uses three charges. Takes a hand slot. It's a one cost asset. The hand mm -hmm. slot's really contested in our group, though. It is, kind of, isn't it? Spend a charge. Choose an investigator's your location to search the top six cards of their deck for each Tekeli Lee weakness and place them on the bottom of the Tekeli Lee deck. Shuffle that oh. investigator's deck and they get to draw one card. Well, Mike, I'm going to give it to you. Do I want it? Well, even if you don't want it, it could get pitched out of your... Th I mean, I have no hands. Yeah. And you could always scavenge it back when you don't need your hands for other stuff. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's that's not why I don't want it. Um, well, I want to keep my deck it? thin. The more stuff I have, the less chance of me drawing the things I want to draw, which is why I kept I have underworld. But doesn't that get rid of the Tekalili cards in your deck that clog it up? Um, yeah, but I don't if usually you, take a lot of those. Them. Like you've taken, I think eight this game. I've taken three well you know what give it to me i'll take yeah. it i'll take it or would you play and, it well, i'll play it until i, I have a sledgehammer hmm. i'll definitely play it it is a will pip in a wild yeah no i'll take it okay i'll let you i'll unless, unless you want it now that you've seen the will pip in the wild no um why don't we just uh leave it up for grabs let's leave this as a communal thing Okay. Why not? I don't know if that's the right. rules or not. But why not? It's a communal thing. It's 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 not the rule, but uh... whatever. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make uh, sense later. Well, maybe. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, I am going to talk to Avery Clay. You know what? Why don't I just take it? Let me take it. Okay. Oh, grab. All right. I'm going to talk. Even though I can't read. Avery Claypool is alive. So Claypool is, is examining alive. a map of the Ross Ice Shelf as you approach. Tracing his fingers over topographical lines. We were supposed to have better weather conditions, he explains as you hunch over next to him. I don't know how or why, but something is messing with the weather patterns here. We're getting hit with storms too sudden, even for Antarctica. And the temperature variance is closer to what we'd find in winter. You ask Claypool if there's anything that can be done to prevent further hardship. The inclination might be to hunker down, he replies. And surely there are some among us who are too exhausted to go on. There are others who feel the opposite, that we should leave immediately and find safety elsewhere. I believe the best course of action is somewhere in between. He taps the map in front of him again, beckoning you closer. These storms are hitting fast and hard. We have to find our opening and move out the moment this one lets up, he explains. You nod in approval. Claypool's predictions help you stay safe from the inclement weather. Remove a frost token from the chaos bag. Uh, I feel like you knew that was coming. Yeah. I did it for me. <laughs> Five is too much. In addition, if Roald Ellsworth is still alive, and he is, Mike. Yes, he is. Curious, you pry a bit. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you, pry, you pry a bit, asking Claypool what the deal is between him and Ellsworth. Huh? Oh, Roald? Well, we... That... He stammers, avoiding your gaze. He's just so damn stubborn and hard to read. You raise an eyebrow. Okay, it is more than that. He is a loner by his very nature. Getting close to somebody like that, he sighs, trying to muster up the words, is difficult for both parties. But worth it, you observe aloud. Yes, I suppose it can be, he replies with a smile. Sometimes. Hmm. I never got that story in my other game. Cause, well, yeah. can I talk to the next person? Uh, yeah, this is... Who do you want to talk to? I want to talk to Roald Ellsworth. All right, Roald, do it. All right. Um, since, you know, Avery Claypool just talked to him, uh, Ellsworth throws you a pocket telescope as you meander through the camp, searching for a task. You look free. Follow me, he demands. You roll your eyes and follow begrudgingly as it leads you out into the snowy wilds. Over the howling winds, you ask loudly where he's taking you. Higher, Ellsworth responds simply. For nearly an hour, you follow him up a treacherous trail through rocky crags to an icy precipice overlooking the ice shelf. Black, jagged mountains loom in the distance, barely visible through the harsh snowfall. There, he says, pointing between two of the peaks. What does that look like to you? You raise the telescope up to your eyes, careful not to press the cold glass against your skin, lest, your skin, lest it freeze there. Magnified by the device's lens, you can just make out a narrow pass between the peaks. Perhaps this would be the optimal route to take tomorrow? 
You convey your thoughts to Ellsworth, and he nods along. I agree. I'll mark it on our map when we get back to camp. Scouting with Ellsworth gives you insight into the journey ahead. In your campaign log, Mike, please record the investigators scouted the mountain pass. Done. Oh, hey. Restful night, part two. Silence falls over the camp as, one by one, the team falls into deep slumber. You try your damnedest to get some rest yourself, but every time you close your eyes, the image of those phantasmal creatures comes seeping behind your eyelids and you shoot awake. You wonder morbidly if death is the only way you will ever rest on this journey. Check the expedition team section of the campaign log. If there are three or more names crossed out, proceed to Restful Night 3. We don't. Therefore, we skip directly to Scenario 2, to the Forbidden Peaks. Oh. And that is going to be page 27 in your book. Wow, interesting. So we pass, did we pass a scenario then? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't look at it. No, I, I'm, I'm just <laughs> noticing that I went through a lot of different pages. Yeah. All right. Scenario two to the Forbidden Peaks. Mike, this is so exciting. This is such a great campaign. Good. Glad you're enjoying it. Oh, it's so much. It's so, so much. neat. Um, yeah, we got a bit of cleanup to do before next week, but uh, Joe, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. It was uh, a nail butter in the middle, wasn't it? And all you people watching, watching live or watching later, you saw just what we're made of when I make Mike act like a hero. <laughs> I the first thing out of your mouth was we can just run. That was the first well, thing true. you said. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I I'm just glad that I put the Gravedigger shovel in my deck. Yeah. I put it in there Dude. for you know the the off chance, and uh, it was love. worth the deck slot. It was love that you it. love that you clubbed that nonsense to death. Yeah. No more nonsense. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, we were heroes, man, and we stayed it out. We 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 got to trust each other. I think I think Danielle and Bob learned a lot about who they are. Yes, and I think shrewd dealings is going to be more important for this pairing. So if yeah, I, I if I can right. draw scavenging out of my deck, then scrounge for supplies ought to go right for shrewd dealings, just so I can get that into play. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, folks. Thanks, this folks. Was great. Daniel, thanks for the fun game. And we will see you next week when we go to the Forbidden Peaks. Good night, everyone. Dun -dun -dun.